Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. I recently did a long weekend trip with my Away Aluminum carry-on, so as promised, here is my review of all the awesome and not so awesome things that I found with the luggage, and I hope this helps you guys decide if this is the right carry-on for your needs. First off, the things I loved about the suitcase. Number one, it's very stylish. Just um, by the looks alone, I mean, this is the number one reason why I bought it. It's just so pretty. And it definitely turned heads when I was using it at the airport. Uh, in fact, I got a really long look, like a really long, like, kind of like that look from a lady who was carrying a Ramoa aluminum luggage. So definitely this thing is an attention getter. So I like that about it. Number two, I love the handle heights, the handle feel, and the build quality of the suitcase overall. I did a review of the polycarbonate version of this carry-on a while back, so check that out if you're interested in the full details. But basically, the aluminum version addresses two of my main gripes with the polycarbonate, namely the wobbly feel of the handles and the lack of a variety of handle heights. Uh, because I'm only five feet tall, and the polycarbonate version, I felt, didn't have enough um, of a lower height because it only had two uh, options and it was just weird for me to roll the suitcase as the handle was in a weird spot. However, with the aluminum version, they do have a third option and it is much better in terms of height. I was so happy because it made a huge difference in the way that I was rolling the suitcase through the airport. It was um, at a lower height so ergonomically it was just better for me. The handles also felt less wobbly. I think in part because the suitcase itself was a little bit heavier so it just felt more solid. Um, and also the aluminum handles plastic grip is a little bit bigger so that felt better as well and I really like that. Number three, the wheels rolled very smoothly and I had no complaints. I compared the polycarbonate away luggage to that of the Remoa so check out the Remoa review if you want to see my thoughts on that. Um, and I still think that the Ramoa has the best wheels in the industry. There's just nothing can top that, at least that I've seen. But the Aluminum Away's uh, carry-on wheels performed really well. They were really quiet and rolled through the airport and on a variety of surfaces like rocks and cobblestones and a little bit of snow. So it had no issues. So it's not the best again, but I really had no problems with it. Number four, I found the top and the side handles were very comfortable and very useful. I really liked that the solid design of the handle was um, just really nice and beefy, especially when I was pulling the carry-on out of the overhead bin and carrying it up and down stairs. Uh, they just felt really comfortable to grip and I liked that little soft close feature as well. Number five, the overall build quality of the metal and the suitcase in general was great. There was a point at the airport where we had been told to stand and get ready to board, but then we ended up having to stand for an additional 30 minutes and we couldn't go back to our seats because we had vacated them and by that time, you know, other people had taken them. So we just had to kind of stand around in line and, you know, I was getting tired. So I just sat on my suitcase. And honestly, I would never have dreamed of sitting on a suitcase like that with my polycarbonate or textile suitcases because they tend to flex and bend, so it just feels a little not secure. But when I was doing that with the aluminum, I totally just felt like, yep, yeah, totally, I can sit on this thing. It's made of metal, it doesn't flex. Um, and it just makes for a great emergency airport seat. Oh, hi, pups. Hello, doggy here. So those were the things that I really loved about the suitcase, but there were also some negatives. First, this suitcase is really heavy, like really heavy. It weighs 10 pounds when it's empty, and once you load it up, it feels even heftier. So definitely it's something to keep in mind if you're a stickler for weight or if you don't want to carry heavy things because this definitely is a hefty piece of luggage. Second, using the charger while it was in the suitcase was actually a bit annoying, mostly because when you plug the cable in, you have to push down hard sometimes and you actually end up triggering the spring mechanism and then you pop the whole battery pack up and so that was annoying. And then when you want to pull the plug out, you have to hold the pack down so that you don't pull the whole thing out of the slot. So. At the end of the day, I was kind of like, at this point, it's probably just easier to take the whole battery pack out and then just put it in your pocket or your purse uh, just because of that weird annoyance. And in addition, the cover actually I found can be a little hard to open up, especially if you have like longer nails. So for us ladies out there of longer nails, just be careful because um, they're a little bit hard to pry open uh, in that case. Third, the scratches will show the silver metal underneath very quickly. I mean, 
my carry-on has only been with me on this one trip but as you can tell there are already a few scratches and places here where the rose gold coating uh, was worn off and I totally expect that of course I mean you just can't avoid that kind of stuff um, with luggage but in case you were wondering what happens when it does scratch now you know and it's sad that this color is only a coating over the silver aluminum surface so I know it's just it's just not gonna be it's just know that it's not gonna look this beautiful forever and that it is actually like that silver coloring underneath so overall who should and shouldn't buy this luggage so you shouldn't buy this luggage if number one you have any concerns about keeping within a weight limit so most international flights that I fly impose a strict uh, 7 kilogram, which is about a 15 pound weight limit on carry-ons. And since this thing is already 10 pounds empty, you're either going to have to bring a lighter carry-on or be prepared to pack very light if you're opting for this suitcase as your carry-on on such international flights. Number two, if you can't stand the scuffs, the dings, and you basically want your luggage to look unmarked or unworn, um, this is just not the luggage for you, unfortunately, because this thing will mark up a ton. Number three, you should not buy this luggage if you tend to overpack and sit on your suitcase to close it because the shell is really very rigid and there's absolutely no flex in like polycarbonate suitcases where you can stuff things in and then sit on it and then there's a little bit of give. Uh, the metal ones just don't have that so you really can't uh, you know pack much inside. You can't just overpack it basically. Now all that being said, do I still love the suitcase and would I recommend it? Uh, yes, so you should buy this luggage if you really want a stylish piece and you don't mind that it'll eventually get dinged up um, or you just are really careful with your luggage and want to baby it to keep it looking pretty. Number two, if overall weight is not a concern for your needs or you don't mind lugging around, you know, 20 plus pound suitcase packed full, then this is fine. I flew domestic and they have never checked the weight of the luggage even in carry-on, so I really had no issues with bringing it this time. But just keep in mind that even if the airlines don't check, you should be, um, you should be personally okay with carrying a heavy piece of luggage, period, just because it is really heavy. Three, if you're a shorty like me and you want an away luggage that has the option for a shorter handle height, um, you should be okay with this. And four, if you want an aluminum piece of luggage that fits in carry-on sizers that is reasonably priced. I say reasonable because this away piece costs $475 without tax and that's already quite pricey. But Compared to something like Ramoa or Tumi um, that are cost over a thousand dollars, then this away piece is half the cost. So if you want the look for less, but you want to have good looks and good feel, and it's still a really quality piece, then in my opinion, the away hits the spot. So overall, I would highly recommend this luggage uh, if you can get over some of the cons or if the cons are things that don't matter to you. So that is my review of the Away carry-on luggage in the aluminum rose gold version. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions, comments, violent reactions, uh, just be sure to type them in the comments section down below. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks again for watching.